Good morning and welcome back to the hangar. Today we are installing the world's smallest transponder. So this little guy is from Trig Avionics. When I say it's the world's smallest transponder, I mean meet it. This, this is tiny, but this is just the head unit. This is the rest of it, but that's it. And, and there is some other supporting equipment that has to be installed, but I mean, that's really, really it. So I'm super excited to have this because we don't have a whole lot of room inside of the cockpit of this airplane. And so this with the remote mount brain box is gonna give us exactly what we need. So let me show you everything that we've got for it. And here we have everything on the workbench. Again, the head unit and brain unit. Over here, we have the GPS antenna, it's a TA-70. Then we've got the GPS positioning source, a TN-72. And then the transponder antenna, a TA-14. And Trig was kind enough to also send us a three meter wiring harness for all of this that will make this installation super easy. A lot of the groundwork that is needed to be able to install this has already been laid out. We have our pedostatic tube going on right here. We've got all of our power. We have, I mean, the panels already cut out. Uh, we have the stuff for the wiring to be able to go through. And back here, we have the tray where we want to mount it. I mean, literally all we're gonna be doing is wiring this in, terminating connections and making sure that the antennas are hooked up to the units. So uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on. This is gonna be super easy and hopefully smooth installation. And with that, the first thing I'm gonna do is install this. That went kind of smooth, but again, all the groundwork was already laid and I went ahead and hooked up the static pressure and screwed in the head unit. So next up is this guy. This is the, the GPS positioning source. And I want to get this in because we have a lot of extra wiring. I want to make sure I, I know where I'm going to put it. And I don't want to cut this wiring. I'm just going to kind of wind it up and everything. Uh, this wiring harness is already pre-made and putting cuts and tying it all together. And I just want to leave it as is. So let's get this guy installed. This guy is now in, he is solid. I went ahead and ran all the wiring to this and also the head unit up here and everything is looking good. What I need to do now is these are the power units, uh, power for this and power for the box all the way back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and terminate these and make it so that we can turn it on. Good news, everything is wired up. So let's test this. Come on over here. Master on, avionics on. Here we go. Oh, uh, altimeter mode. <laughs> that thing turns on. Setup and test mode, press enter to record. Okay, we'll do that later. Let, let's get the antennas installed. Now, my J3 didn't have anywhere to be able to mount any antennas, and so I had to make this guy right here. This is for the GPS antenna, so it has a clear view of the sky. And what I had to do was make this, make it a little bit bigger, and then I rounded these with another pipe and a hammer. In the end, I was able to strap them in with zip ties. These are temporary just to make sure everything works properly. Once I verify that, I will go ahead and make this permanent. But I'm incredibly excited with how this turned out, and I didn't only make one, I had to make one for the transponder antenna as well and that guy is right down here so yeah <laughs> I'm just super pleased and even up here I mean it looks like it could be factory with a little bit of paint first up the transponder antenna next up the GPS antenna And that's it. This GPS antenna is all hooked up. And I'll take care of this wire once we get the wings on, tie everything up, and have it come down here properly. So uh, that's done. Oh my gosh. That was actually super, super easy, you know, if you know how to terminate cable ends and stuff. So now it's time to be able to set up this guy. I'm not quite sure how to do it, but uh, you know, 
we can figure this stuff out. Setup for the device is actually really easy. All I had to do was enter in my tail number and that was it. And the thing is up and, and functioning. I mean, gosh, that was easy. I feel like I'm, I'm jinxing myself. But here it all is up and functioning. I mean, we're on standby right now. We can uh, VFR that goes back to the previous code that was used. We can change our functions here and I can edit my tail number or I can change the brightness of the screen. But uh, yeah, it's a simple unit. So if, if we wanted to ident, you know, we'll press here. If we want to change the squat code, we can just change the squat code and hit enter as we go through things. I mean, that's, that's fairly simple. I like it. So I guess that's it. That's the installation of the transponder. So uh, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Headed to Osh in just a couple of days. This was the last thing I was gonna do to the plane before I headed out. So I hope to see a lot of you guys there. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.